Okay guys, I am back with my design team project um, for Poppiness in April, and it's a continuation of March's. Um, I should be done with it here in the next few days, I think. I'm not really for sure. Um, so the one I'm using for this one is the Dragonfly Days by Poppiness. Let me show you what I'm doing so that when you see it pop up, this is the kit itself. I'm not using all of it um, in this one because I'm going to do a dragonfly journal. Um, so the whole kit, I believe, is 14 pages. You get backgrounds and lined backgrounds. Um, this one's got some of the dragonflies in here. And some grassland back in there. And then you get a page of labels. And then you get two pages of tags, one with dragonflies and one without. And then you get, um, I don't, are these called labels too? I'm not really sure, just shapes maybe. And then you get a page of fussy cut dragonflies. Aren't they gorgeous? And this is just plain, paper it's not any fancy paper so yeah they turn out gorgeous on regular paper and then you get some journaling cards with um, some plain and some with dragonflies so like these two are one with and one without isn't it stunning I just love her colors yeah, really pretty I think that's my favorite out of all of them dragonflies that is I love the whole kit um, so yeah, go check that out. And so we are continuing on with our little project. Um, so we made the bee and the butterfly. Um, this cover we made for the hop. Um, if you haven't seen that hop, it's really cool. So, um, can't remember how many of us now did that. It was, I don't know, like seven of us I think and it was like a video hop so you just hop from one video to the next um, so that was this cover that I did for that one and then um, we did do um, the making of this one on film and then we did the uh, most of the bumblebee one on film so yeah there's all kinds of little things in here little pockets stuffed to the brim okay so then what we're gonna do is I have been working on this little guy and I'm gonna do some of the ephemera with you that I want them to be cohesive yet all their own so yeah this one is the dragonfly and I gotta set them flat um, so they'll dry a little flatter but um or it's already dry but you know what I mean it'll kind of unwrinkle a little bit so yeah I've got the papers in but now we're going to work on the uh, pockets um, to glue in so that's what I brought today. And as you know, um, like these two little pockets are done. Um, there's some that I just kind of worked ahead and did um, a little while ago. And then this is the big journaling card in the back that I've got to sew. So we need tags and cards and we need to decorate these little guys here. Um, so I've already cut most of this. And I haven't, I don't actually have a clear cut idea of what I'm doing with them. So I was kind of looking back to see what I had done decorating wise. And I, it looks like I used a lot of flowers, but this one, I don't know. I probably should have thought this out a little bit further before coming on. Um, but alas, I did not. So, cause these have little tags, like I glued it here to where there'll be little tags here. And I don't think I have any of those cut either. So, and then these little cards will go in here. And maybe, I bet you'll have to print out some of those because we'll stack those cards and that'll go in that one. And what I'm doing now is just kind of getting a ballpark of what more I might need to print out. And, um, oh, I should tell you, all of these are a combination of a couple of kits. Um, there's her letter or like um, her alphabet kit. There's Aptos. 
there's the Sundance kit in there. Yeah, so they're all kind of just a bunch of different kits. Um, I like working with her kits because they're they all blend together really well. So I think for now, let's collage these two and get those finished. And um, then we'll go from there. We'll make our little tags to, that will go in there. Um, so, as I know you guys have already heard a hundred different times probably from me, I am trying my best not to have a ton of extra scrap stuff. So let me pull out all my little bits here to where we can just kind of collage up and see what we're feeling like. Yeah, I got quite a few little bits going on. So yeah, I hope everybody is doing well. Um, it is still Sunday, so we're not quite through all the family business stuff yet, but I wanted to make sure that I got at least one of my design team for popping this up. Um, before it gets really, really crazy the next few days, I think. Um, these will probably end up just being different than the other ones, which I'm good with. Um, so I know you guys have all seen like crazy amounts of, of uh, collaging, but you're going to see a little more if you keep on watching the video. So, but I think everything's pretty much finalized. We are ready. Um, it's just going to go get him now. And then, you know. And it's pretty quiet here. Bo is working on... Um, the college classes that he's taking online because um, he works at Starbucks so they have like a college program that he can do online um, it's not through it's um, paid for not all of it paid for but um, a lot of it's paid for by Starbucks um, and yeah, they have a really great program for their employees to go to college so he's taking advantage of that program and then um, so he it goes like every six to eight weeks is a course. Boy, I took a big old digger out of that, didn't I? I have a feeling we're gonna need to just glue that corner down with regular old glue. And I think I'm just gonna kinda run that one around and get us a new sheet. I took two big diggers out of that one. All right, now let's add some color. So what I was saying a second ago is he is working on essays to finish up his courses there and then or like this semester thing or I guess they're quarter semester I don't what did he call them I forget now what he actually called them Yep, he's busy working on that tonight. And Gracie's already got most of her schoolwork done for next week. So, yeah, they seem on top of it. So that's good. All right, 
open at the top. Do I want that one? Yep, I love that one. Just run a little bit of ink around that white. And then what I'm going to do, I've kind of been alluding to it for a little while, is I'm going to, um, we're going to make a box for this. It'll have to have a custom box, obviously. Um, so, but I needed to know how wide they were, so I obviously have to finish this little journal up first. Okay, there's one pocket done. Okay, let's finish this one. we should talk about oh I will say this though so we had to go do some errands um, just getting some stuff ready for the services on Wednesday and I swear nobody is taking the whole thing serious anymore since some of the stuff the uh, restrictions lifted in our state literally people everywhere I was like oh no <laughs> Like, oh no, like it's like it literally was probably in vain. All of this, all these precautions that we've been taking for weeks because everybody went out to yesterday and today. I hope not. I hope that the last eight weeks weren't wasted. Yeah, they're still keeping it to where, you know, there's not that many people allowed in the store at once and, you know, things like that to kind of keep everything down. But, yeah, nobody listened to that this weekend here. Okay, now to find another one, and I think that one's going to be too big for this. I love this little dragonfly kit. I'm gonna tell you right like I love dragonflies like they I think they are the bee's knees and I won't say that she made them for me but kinda like I gave her the idea and so then she created them so like I don't not gave her the idea of doing dragonflies but planted the seed that I would love a dragonfly kit and here it is um yeah something magical about dragonflies isn't there I'm really hoping that the dragonfly last year the dragonflies were crazy here it was awesome like I loved every second of it okay another pocket done real quick okay let's decorate these little pockets I'm going to take these back out and so I've decided I got to print another fern kit because this is out of her new ferns kit um, so I need a couple, I need another page or two of those to finish that up. So I did flowers on the last ones, so maybe we stick cohesively with that, or maybe we can use some mushrooms or like big flowers, maybe. I don't know. Like way too big, huh? What do we think? No. I think we're gonna have to stick with like little littler stuff. And at that point I think we probably ought to stick with little flowers. Which I have no idea where I've put now. It figures, right? Let me just see if we got some tall mushrooms, huh? Because 
say it don't all have to be the same right it's my story and I'm sticking to it liking any of those so I think flowers it will be but I'm gonna have to put you on pause for a minute because I don't I don't have any idea where those roses are um, I'll take a quick little gander over here while I have you and maybe they'll just pop out of pop out of their hiding spot but I don't think so Yeah, no, those are all the Easter die cuts that I did. All right, yep, I'm going to pause you for a minute, and I'll be right back, guys. Okay. I didn't find the bag I was looking for, but I found some. So I think we'll just kind of make do with what I got. How about that? Maybe it is, and maybe I was just running low on them and just decided to put them over there. I don't, I honestly, it's been a while since I touched this particular project. So you know how it is when you go back to something, you're like, hmm, don't remember now. Or at least I don't, I don't know, other people might. Okay, now let's do the other side here. I bet you I'm out of yellow. There's one, there's two, and three. So they kind of all match. So we'll just ink up those white edges. can't even talk about oh I can't you guys could talk in the comments if you'd like about the recent movies you've seen but I have not even like watched TV in like a week it's kind of bizarre I mean usually that's in the evenings when Paul is home um, we'll sit and watch and catch up on our shows and stuff for the week because you know Gracie and I enjoy our time with Paul Bo's usually like at work or whatever so um yeah, so he doesn't usually join us, but yeah, the three of us usually sit and watch something, but yeah, um, I haven't done that all at all. Just trying to record some stuff for the week. And it turns out I need to soak my thing again. I'm such a goober. I don't know why I do that to myself. You can come in. I'm recording, but you can come in. What do you need? Okay. Seems like I might have to go, guys, for the evening. I said Bowman is um, doing his schoolwork, and so surprisingly, I'm able to help him with a lot of it, like ex his Excel courses and stuff. I was like, hmm. I actually know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, it was kind of him and I were both shocked a couple weeks ago that I was actually that like legitimately able to help him. Blends in. That one kind of looks. Yeah, I was a little legitimately shocked that I was able to help him. Hi. 
I think I like that. Or do we like, since we have these cute little things, would it be cute to maybe put one of these? Maybe cut it down a little bit. Oh, let's see. Let's just see what we get. No, but I do like the butterfly that's in this thing. So let's just like fussy cut this one out. What do you say? What do you say? I say yay! Nothing like fussy cutting with really big scissors, huh? Yeah, I think I think the dragonfly kit um, is going to be probably June's design team because I already have I already have one already like it's already printed and cut and the whole bit and it will have some of the dragonfly in it. Um, and you guys will probably be sick of the dragonfly kit by the time I get done the next like couple of design team projects. Um, but I think you'll really like the next one that I got planned. Oh, I like that. Okay. And then let's use this little guy up here. We'll put two dragonflies in there, right? Yep, that works. So you know what I wish they had here in Colorado? And I don't even know if they have it in the world, but you know, it'd be really cool. Is you, they have all these like butterfly pavilions. Wouldn't it be really cool if they had a dragonfly pavilion? I think that would be like, I don't think I would probably ever leave. I think I might go apply for a job there. Yep, I think that's what, what I would do. Okay, so that's pocket number four, three. Almost said four. So not, right? Okay. way more glue than I needed, huh? I do think, yeah, I, I like it better now because this one has more green. Isn't it strange the things that catch your eye or like the corner of your eye and you're like, mm-hmm, -mm yep, that one will look good there. That's a little tiny pieces. not all of that fits so I can't glue it to the table right <laughs> that would not be good yeah so I won't put that one away just yet okay so for this video we are gonna call it good um, I think we're probably close to 25 to 35 minutes and I'm probably wrong and we're like way over that so anyways what we made are the two little side tucks and then these two little gorgeous pockets here. And then in the next video, I'll put together the tags, I think. Because I think um, a couple of people really liked the double layer tags, like watching those go together. So I'll go ahead and do that again. And then we'll work on a couple of the little femur pieces. And we will, yeah, then we'll make the box. All right, guys, I will see you in a little bit. Bye.